yeah, just a disclaimer. You're not watching an episode. This is an actual video game made by actual people. I love it. Douchebag? I ordered Shut up. To the bag. I'm doing an intro. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to more South Park The Stick of Truth. Last time we moved here to the quaint little, quote-unquote, quiet town of South Park, where we met, you know, the Wizard King Cartman, his little court paladin butters, and the rest of the people of the Kingdom of Koopa Keep, or the KKK, as he calls it. Yeah, Cartman's a dick. So today, we're gonna go inside the tent to see what Cartman has to show us. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the Stick of Truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive position! Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, shit. If you actually look around this room a bit, you oh, 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 hi, oh, I thought I was gonna get the KFC. Ah, oh, because I had to fight, dudes. Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Clyde, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! Just back. This is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! The stick is ours! Ah, uh, shit. Alright. So now we're actually gonna get into some real battles here. Against these elves right here. Oh boy. But, you know, as it all counts, they're all more tutorial battles. But, you know, I'll just talk over these as, you know, there's a lot of explaining and a lot of stuff and a lot of ground to cover right here. Alright. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. All right, so now this battle will teach you how to heal because, you know, you need to heal in RPGs, quite obviously. All right, so heal that. Uh, each turn, you, you can use one item and you can still attack. So, yeah, it's pretty damn neat. All right, so let's try to block all these attacks right here. All right, do that. All right. Jesus. All right, let's try this again. You want some of this? Got to do this and that. Okay, if you block all the attacks, right. you get a counter attack. So if we block all attacks, we can counter attack just like Cartman just explaining right here and there we go. Awesome, you kicked his helpless ass. <coughs> now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King. Right. Let's do it. Asshole. Let's do it. All right. Let's do that. Do that and stick it off the butt. All right. So, let's see. Do want to Yeah. Let's actually use these. Because they actually do a lot of damage for the first time. First time playing the game right here. And, uh, you know what? PP charges at the end of, you know, every battle, so I feel no shame in using this. There we go. All right, so that's uh, the first battle done. Well, the first of three battles, anyway. Oh, and also, you want to loot people. Whenever you, uh, whenever you win battles, you basically want to loot people because they carry a lot of cash and junk that you can sell. And trust me, you'll be getting a lot of money in this game, believe you, you me. You Alright, so... The guy's proposing, so that can only mean something good. What are you waiting for, douchebag? That guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass. Alright, let's do it! Let's kick his butt! Wait, wait, hold on. Okay, I see. Okay, the game wants me to do that. That's okay. Dick! <laughs> oh man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. You can't just hit him like that. All right, so in a repost or repost, yeah, repost. In a repost state, uh, they can counter melee weapon attacks. So that means you have to use ranged weapons. And as you saw in the little menu right there, uh, we got our first, you know, ranged weapon, which is the bow of sucking. And now we can basically hit this guy with our little bow and arrows right here that actually do damage. Oh, oh wait. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it, at least I got him. Like, Jesus Christ, okay. So, just like with our uh, melee weapons, we can, you know, basically use uh, either regular attacks or power attacks with our 
bow and arrow, just like we can with melee weapons. And now this guy's reflecting, so he's ready for our ranged weapon, so why don't we just power attack him like that? Great job, douchebag! Alright. So, that's actually a pretty useful thing to remember. Alright, so we just got one more guy. And... And, hey, he's kicking the kitty! Hey! You don't kick the kitty! The kitty is aw- The kitty is cool, man. The kitty is cool. Let's do this, douchebag. Alright. So, we are the douchebag. Alright. So, he's reposting, or reposting, so whatever. Okay, that guy has a okay. So, whenever you see the shield with the number attached to it, that means, well, they can block a certain amount of hits. Don't use power attacks against them. You want to use your regular attacks, because, or, or at the very least in the case of, you know, your first couple of, you know, very first experiences with weapons, you can only hit twice. So, yeah, you want to hit the guy's uh, shields multiple times. And if they have armor, that's your opportunity to use power attacks. So, yeah. Here we go. And, uh, here's actually a pretty useful tactic that we're going to be using later on. Uh, be sure to get people off the arena, or your enemies off the arena, whenever, you know, they fall down. Because, well, just saying, there are going to be some enemies that can revive people. So, you best want to... Well, Hose Fury. What the? <laughs> Hose Fury? I've never seen that attack before. What the hell? Well, you learn something new every day. But yeah, all stuff you're going to be learning for later on. Drow Elf, fall back! Fall back, I say! Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck next time! Na 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 na! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's gone. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde? You are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah! Go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, <laughs> if you can make me a douchebag, we sure can fight! Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The Stick of Truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go, and send my warriors here. Spiders, go with him. All right, level two. We get an upgrade. And a fast travel flag. All right, so many, so many mechanics going into this. All right. And we got a new quest, or at least a story quest calls for it. Uh, called the Banners, and we got another side quest, the Timmy Express. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so now since uh, Clyde is banished beyond space and time, Scott Malkinson will be able to... Uh, Man the shop now. Got some pretty good so, here. yeah, now we can finally get a chance to sell our uh, stuff. So, this is why I suggested that you want to raid as much of everything as you possibly can. Because, well, not only does, you know, junk have, you know, little fun Easter eggs to the show, but they also sell for a pretty, pretty big sum of money that you got right here. So, yeah, pretty, pretty good. Pretty damn good. All right. So, uh, let's see. What do I want? I guess I could... Uh, oh, lightning wand. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. That should be good. Wait. Increases your armor. All right. Doing it. <laughs> yeah, we're doing this. We're doing this. We are doing this thing proper. All right. We're actually equipping ourselves to the ladder. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really have... And, uh, we aren't at level 3 yet, so we can't really buy, you know, patches or anything like that. Or any of these for equipment. Jeez. Okay. Alright, so let's actually just uh, equip, equip ourselves right here. Uh, let's bring on our warrior's... 
thing. <laughs> I don't really know what it's called. And ooh, this is looking fancy. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much just like uh one certain Xenoblade Chronicles, I guess. Uh, all the equipment you have is not just it's not just you know raise your stats, but it's also cosmetics. So yeah, pretty pretty awesome that they allow you to do that. Oh wait, wait. I seriously. Oh yes, let's do that. Oh my god. <laughs> and we can also die our thing too. Like, wait. Can we actually? Oh my god. Wait. Wait. I want to read. Jesus. Okay. 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 I get your customization. I get you. Let's check our Facebook. Am I supposed to donate most of the allowance since it's one of the rules of being a paladin, or is anyone not supposed to? Your king demands his title paladin. Come talk to me. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, the more friends that you get, the more Facebook status updates that you're going to get. So, yeah. It's pretty damn funny. But more importantly than that, we actually do get the ability to upgrade our attacks. So, Jujitsu! <laughs> uh, yeah, that's one thing that I didn't show off yet, is Jujitsu. Uh, a Jewish martial art to pound your thing with a stunning strike. And at level 2... It can increase the damage dealt from Jujutsu attacks, and that one too. Uh, let's upgrade the Sling of David for now. And these are perks. Uh, this is why I suggested that you make as many friends as possible. Because the more friends you get, the more perks that you're going to unlock. So yeah, just quickly going through these right here. Uh, yeah, these are pretty, pretty awesome perks that we get. Uh, magic, we're not going to be going into until a little bit later, so yeah. But either way, uh, we now have, uh, uh, we have Butters as our buddy now. And uh, he's not just a buddy that we can get, you know, through the overworld and stuff, but... He's also going to be pretty useful in battle as well. Oh, and talk to Miss Cartman. You kids be careful now. So you'll be able to register her as a friend. All right. So before we go out, uh, let's actually raid the house a little bit. Uh, yeah. Once again, you'll want to raid as many houses as you possibly can. So uh, this is yeah. The king's room. I don't think uh, let's to be go over here. here. And ooh, faith plus one CD. <laughs> Yeah, these might be all junk, but they're also they're also really cool knots to the show. Like the knots to the show are just you know things that you find. They aren't really intrusive to the plot at all. So yeah, you can basically see a lot of uh, KFC right here, and you can turn on the radio for some musics. I don't even recognize the song, but yeah. Uh, crank time phone, crank prank time phone. And the coon! Oh my god, the coon poster, and... Oh, yeah, yeah, this part. Right here. You can look into some closets and houses, and you can see... A lot of stuff relating to the show, like... The election day for 2012. The beefcake shirt from the old seasons. Asamo, uh... Faith Plus One, and, you know, just a whole bunch of other stuff that you... Might recognize if you've ever watched the show at all. Uh... The reckon The whole recognizing or the realization of easter eggs does help if you've watched the show i mean i've been watching it ever since you know high school and all these easter eggs are really really cool <laughs> oh my god <laughs> hand magic and butt magic also antonio banderas loved all oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> Oh man! And oh my! Oh wait! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! And hand magic and butt magic, indeed. Oh my god! Now, do you see why this game is rated M, folks? <laughs> do you see? Okay. So yeah, let's just get our junk right here. And as always, we got to poop in the toilet. If it splashes, it means you get a free wish. <laughs> yes, it does. Let's take that. And I think we're pretty much good to move on. Alright, so let's go downstairs. 
and finally go out into the big town we of the wild. Going to the street. We're in such an open world, our parents don't want us getting hurt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't play in the street, kids. Do not play in the street. Let's look at a gray die right here, and oh my god, this music. <laughs> it sounds like it's trying to be Skyrim, but it isn't. Yeah, so pretty much just like that. The Holy Relics Archim Pokemon. Basically, South Park's version of Pokemon. And ooh, friend. The Wizard King says I'm too ginger to be one of the humans. But Paladin Butter All right, me be a so, on the slide. Paladin let's see. What do we got here? Uh, so by using the right bumper button, we can select our range object and the range and thing. And yeah, basically use the... Uh, LT button to select your thing or to use your thing and you know you can shoot down things with their range weapon or range stuff choo choo nizumi <laughs> all right so let's kill that snowman yeah show that one who's boss am i right i am correct sir so let's get this thing right here and uh are we all good in uh the health department yeah we are all right so let's destroy that Oh my god, I love him. I love Timmy so much. Alright. So Sir Timmy's fast travel. This is our base this is basically the way that we fast travel to places. Uh so I don't really want to fast travel right now. Uh we have 12 of them in all, and pretty much before we get into the whole meat of things, I'm going to be finding eleven of them. The twelfth we won't be able to get until later though. Oh boy. Oh geez. Alright. So now we get into our first real battle right here. That isn't just tutorial. Yeah, you moved to the wrong realm. The wrong realm, motherfucker. Wrath of the Elves. Alright, that's gonna raise his attack. Take this. And do that. Do that. And do that. Oh boy. This is not good. Alright, there we go. There we go. I'm getting better. Oh my god, this is adorable. Alright, so, with your buddies here, you can basically do a lot of, you know, unique things that buddies can do. Like, Butters, for instance, Wait, he can heal you. There you go, Al. Aw, that's so cute! <laughs> oh my god, that's so adorable. I love that. I really love that. Alright, so, you can use up a quick action like that, or you can use up, you know, an item for a quick action. But, here's what Butters can do. So Butters has a holy has a hammer of justice. So you can press X when the hammer flashes. And when it flashes all the way through, you can basically do plus, you know, uh 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 what is that? What is that? Uh bonus holy damage, yeah. That's basically fancy term for extra damage. But unfortunately, we are under a status ailment, which is bleeding. So you can use wipe for more info. Causes damage at the end of every turn, stacks up to five times. So, yeah, that is not good. That's not good at all. All right. So, to cure negative status effects, you use cure potions and all that. So, all that is very, very good. Okay. All right. So, let's actually remove that, uh... Let's actually get rid of this, uh, Elven Priest, because... The Elven Priest is going to be the healer of those groups right there. So, yeah. Uh, this is what I, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to uh, not being as good as blocking as I usually am. Because, well, the archers, uh, they attack pretty consistently, if I have to do say, if I have to say so for myself. And might as well get this Elven Priest out of here. And, oh god. Okay, yeah, Butters is bleeding. I gotta cure him. All right, so let's see. I want to use this. It's got a shield, so I can just basically do that. Yeah, not bad. Oh, dang it! I was too late. Okay, get that. Get that. Ah, oh. dude, see, <laughs> see, like I'm not good at blocking arrows at all. Like, 
I, I swear to God, it's always at, at a precise moment where you have to be, you know, really, really uh, precise with the dodging of the things. But yeah, just to show off at least one of the abilities that Butters can do. Here's the hammer of justice right Man, here. TV right now. So you sp so basically just like the sling of David, you spin hey, around the control finish. stick until it flashes. Uh, it just kills him in one hit. Jesus. But yeah, Butters is uh, down again. Might as well buy some more uh, cure potions while I'm at it. But uh, yeah, let's. Uh, we should only take care of this one more guy. And not quite. Nope. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh, pretty much, uh, any, uh, MP and, or PP, uh, PP and HP will be healed up and all status ailments will be, uh, you know, non-existent pretty much by the end of, you know, everything. So, yeah, they'll basically auto-regenerate through, you know, after the battle's ended. So, yeah, pretty, pretty good. All right, so let's check around the map here. Yeah, so basically all of this, all of this, well, except for the streets, is yours to explore. Like, at this point, you're basically free to do anything. And I mean anything. I love games that allow me to do that. I love it. <laughs> but I think our first order of business is to make some friends here. So why don't we just do that? Go into the town and meet... That's Bud Brady. Right. <laughs> and meet Officer Bud Brady. I love this guy. <laughs> I hope you post a lot Jeez. of cat pictures. All right. So you can basically meet the all the uh, all the basic locals of South Park right here. And if you try talking to any one of them, like who knows if they could be your you know friends? Who knows? So it's basically your duty to talk, or at least kind of sort of your job to talk to basically. Anyone and everyone sad, that you can do. I found Jesus at the church. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. And and also there's that. Yep. Finding Jesus. Which is a thing that you can do. This here is the marketplace. This is Alright. So let's go over to Oh, wait. I could actually do something that could be helpful for later, but community board. Yeah, look at that. Timmy and the Lords of the Underworld. Stand up for your rights. Who's the coon? City Sushi, Monster Mash. Have you seen this Mexican? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so here's actually another thing that we can do to get our friend immediately. And we can pretty much do this whenever we want. But you are going to have to do this at a certain point. But we might as well do it right here anyway. Give it back! Give it back! Why don't you make us? That's my Justin Bieber toy. Not anymore, it's not. Aw, did Baby lose her toy? Who is this? Feed a kid if you know it's good for you. Yes, let's save the Justin Bieber toy from that girl. Yes. I killed way bigger guys than Let you. us do that. Well, All right. No kid has. So, pretty much just like I said, uh, we can do this whenever we want, but we're all going to have to do it at a certain point. But anyway, just to show off jujitsu right here, mash the A button. Oh my god. <laughs> and also Hebrew letters. So, that will leave us stunned. So, that's very, very good. But. This is also a really, really cool attack right here. Uh, nah, that we can't really do that. But yeah, whatever. We might as well show it off right here just to kill this girl. Feel my righteous fury. All right. So press A when the light when the lightning hits the hammer, just like Thor. <laughs> and I had to figure out my timing on that. All right. So they got armor on. So that pretty much means we have to power attack throughout the whole thing, I guess. Or at the very least, I... No. Wait, do we have any ones that... Yeah, we do. Alright, so power potions, they restore PP. So, yeah, definitely you want to use that in order to get more use of, out of your abilities. <laughs> I love how he just does... I love how he just does a sure you can just to finish it off. Just to leave her stunned. I love that. All right, so that girl's almost done. And up. Yep, timing. Absolute timing I need. Fortunately, she's still stunned, so I can at least do this. Yeah, got him in one hit. Jesus. Or in one cycle, at least. And we should be good here. I hope they're just sleeping. 
Yes, they are. They're dead. You like beating up on girls? Oh, I hope he didn't break it. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks. I owe you one, kid. So yeah, we get Annie as a friend for doing that. And we get seven friends. That means we got a new perk. Awesome. All right. So with all that being said, uh, Clyde is banished from space and time, you guys. Nobody said I'm in at lunch. I don't care what kind of fruit snacks he's wearing. Fuck you, new kid. Things are going to find before he showed up. Oh, my God. He's calling me out. Uh, boy, I beat your ass. <laughs> all right. So about perks. Uh, pretty much the first one that you're going to want to do immediately, immediately, is Growing Boy. That will raise your maximum HP by 20%. And that's one I pretty much recommend you do first. And the next one would be Apprentice, which would be maximum PP is raised by 20%. So best if you do that immediately if you can. We must get back to the so, game, yeah. That's pretty much a basic taste of what you're going to, you know, basically do in the game right here. Because this game is open. Like, this game is open, but you know you are direct, but pretty much at all times you are basically directed to, you know, just follow the story. But you can choose to basically ignore that and do all the quests that you can. Pretty much. And basically, just like I said, the exclamation points on the, uh, map are where you want to go but either way either way uh we are now in the beloved town of south park here so with all that being said we are done next time on south park the stick of truth we're going to do stuff around the town i guess yeah i don't know whether or not i should actually find the banners that cartman wants us to find or if I want to do side quests. Because if you know me and my Xenoblade and Nino Kuni lore, I love to side quest. So, yeah, keep going on your phone. Keep going on your phone, man. I could swear I heard a voice coming up from the sewers. It said something like, Hody How. Oh my god. If he's in this game, oh my god. Okay. So, I will see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. You do realize that's a vibrator, right? <laughs>